I'm going to try to keep this as short as I can because I know you guys must be just be getting thousands of these videos, but um, I've been telling my wife now for um, a long time that I need to reach out and personally thank you guys. Um, so just in case you don't make it to the end of the video, um, Lewis, Jessa, you guys, thank you. You are responsible for a lot of what's going on here at this shop. Um, I, I'm not going to go into my childhood, but it's really similar to Lewis's, but not near as bad, dude. Uh, you're awesome. What you got going on now, you've come a long way. So uh, anyways, my career. Um, I've got 20 years background running around bird dogging checks, uh, working in grocery stores, pulling wires, um, installing cameras, ATM machines, um, networks. I mean, it's all I've ever known, but I've always ran around door to door, uh, excuse me, door to door, um, business, mainly business to business. Uh, and I'm always getting the job done and give them the invoice and sometimes having to chase down the money and always being away from my family and staying in hotel rooms. And, um, so anyway, about two years ago, uh, my wife said, well, you had a shop 10 years ago. Why not try it again? Well, 10 years ago, it, it was a boring mess. We did nothing but PC repair and run around bird dog and checks and pulling wires and the same thing. So I thought, okay, well, the only way we can do that, we were broke. Uh, the only way we can do that is if somebody's willing to hand over the keys and utilities and everything turned on. So one day we were driving by this little building here and uh, she shoved me to, to call the number on the window. It showed for rent, so I did. And lo and behold, I'll try to keep this short. Uh, lo and behold, the guy that owned the building, he read me like a book and he knew I was broke. Um, so uh, he did exactly that. I didn't have to ask him. He handed over the keys. So about two months after that, we didn't really have any furniture. I had a couple of fold-out tables, and uh, we were advertising the same stuff, PC repair and um, just all the same stuff. And at the bottom, I had put phone repair. Um, and I was shocked at how much attention that got. And here we started getting flooded with all these screen replacements, and, and stuff was going wrong. And I knew it was microscopic stuff that I couldn't get to. Well, I don't know how it happened, but... Um, and I spent a lot of time laying on the floor in the back of the shop, staring at the ceiling, going... How in the fuck am I going to pay all these bills? This is this is never going to work out. I was discouraged. I felt like crying. I felt like quitting. And this went on every Tuesday. It seemed like every Tuesday I was so discouraged I couldn't see straight. Um, and then somehow I bumped into one of your videos. It showed up in like a suggested video. And this is Lewis. Um, I bumped into one of your videos and I'm like, whoa, look at this guy. He's he's doing this work under a microscope. He's real. Wow, look what he's doing. And I was just um, so. That was about, I guess, I don't know how long ago, but um, the time frame is not important. Anyways, I wound up buying a little junk, junk ass USB microscope off of eBay, and I was using that to solder charge ports with a really, really terrible soldering iron. And um, I was getting the job done. It really wasn't that pretty, but people were happy and they weren't coming back because I was getting them to stick. And so, anyway, Lewis, you showed me what equipment to buy. I can't imagine how much money I would have wasted if I hadn't had you there to show me about the Amscope microscope and the 2032 micro pencil, um, you know, and the FX951. Uh, this stuff's awesome. When I switched from my crappy, whatever it was, off name, $50 iron from eBay and started using this equipment, it was just really awesome. It was night and day. And, you know, I had some of the old charge ports I did with the, with the shitty microscope come back and I put them under the M scope and it's like, holy crap, I charge these people for this. So, um, I wound up fixing them and tell them, look, I did a bad job to start with and I gave it back to them, just called it warranty, even though it was like eight months ago. Um, so anyway, Lewis, I want to thank you for business philosophies and equipment. I mean, the Branson EC sitting behind me on the shelf here, that stuff after every rework is just like. It saves me, what, an hour of cleaning with a Q-tip and alcohol because alcohol is not going to cut some of this tacky flux. Um, so I'll try to keep this short. I know you don't have much time. You're busy. Um, Jessa? Zillion work. I spent $100 on this dongle, and it has made me thousands upon thousands of dollars. Couldn't solve some of these problems without it. And, you know, I had this software for, like, four months. And I didn't realize that I also had black ship, uh, blackfish because I can't read Chinese. And um, yeah, I bumped into blackfish. And I'm like, well, heck, here, look, it got all these schematics too. So anyways, I want to thank both of you guys. Um, 
you've really changed life for my family. Um, I went from working, bouncing around from place to place to place, stayed in hotels. You know, the phone rings eight o'clock in the evening on a, on a Saturday night. And all of a sudden, hey, I'm going to drive down to Wycliffe, Kentucky tomorrow morning. I got to be there by six. And it's all this, this running and, and driving myself crazy. And um, I was really depressed over my, my state of being, the way I had to live. And um, I didn't know why. But it isn't until now with our repair shop and the phone ringing off the hook every day. And now we're starting to get mail-ins and um, things are really going well here. And I really owe you guys, I, I owe you guys a big thanks. You've helped us out here. Um, my wife owes you a big thanks. Um, she's really happy because now our family gets to be together. We got a place in the back set up here for the kids. Um, our kids like to play on the microscope. Um, Jordan, my seven year old, he loves micro soldering and uh, I've had him, you know, do a couple of connectors and stuff. And I'm really impressed. Some of the stuff he does under this microscope is a lot better than some of the shit that I've gotten on eBay. Like, Hey, here's your new charge for, here you go. Right. It's new. Okay. Um, so anyways, Lewis, Jessa, thank you guys. There's probably going to be a lot that I wish I had put into this video that I didn't, but I want to keep it short because I, I kind of hope you watch the whole thing and just realize from the bottom of my heart, I am thankful for what you guys, what you guys are doing on YouTube. Um, I'm going to start putting videos on YouTube too, but I highly doubt that I ever make it as far as you guys have. Um, and it's more um, for my own satisfaction too. Um, I'm coming to find out that I really like, I really enjoy sharing some of this stuff. We get a lot, a ton of traffic on Facebook, but really nothing on Google and YouTube other than the call now button and the map button that everybody pushes to call here and get here. Uh, that's mostly what we get from Google. So uh, anyways, guys, thank you. Um, I, I would not be here if I hadn't bumped into your videos, Lewis. So thank you.